MCX IPF presents a short video on commodity derivatives. This video covers the fundamentals of commodity derivatives and answers questions like why are they used, who uses them and what are the benefits of using them. It also covers different kinds of commodity derivatives and briefly throws light on their mechanics. What are derivatives? Derivatives are financial instruments whose value changes in response to the change in a variable called underlying. The different types of derivative financial instruments are forwards, futures, options, swaps. What is an underlying? There are various types of underlying assets. These underlyings could be commodity, currency, stocks, debt and future investments. What are commodity derivatives? Derivative instruments like forwards, futures, options, swaps have commodities such as gold, copper, cotton and crude oil as underlyings. These could be broadly categorized as bullion, base metal, agriculture and energy. Prices of derivative instruments change due to various factors such as changes in the underlying prices. Why do we require derivatives and why are they important? Derivatives are financial tools required for managing price risk. Important for farmer seeking protection against price decrease or a food processor seeking protection from price increases. Important for a manufacturer seeking protection against price rise in base metals. For example, the price increase in base metals may affect an automobile manufacturer. Important for an importer and an exporter who wish to lock into a price. Where are derivatives traded? Derivative contracts can be distinguished by the way they are traded. There are two major types of commodity derivatives based on their market mechanics over-the-counter derivatives and exchange-traded derivatives over-the-counter OTC derivatives are structured contracts negotiated between two parties outside an exchange. These are customized contracts. Exchange-traded derivatives are standardized contracts traded on an exchange platform such as MCX. These contracts are vetted by the regulator. The commodity derivatives market in India is regulated by the Securities and Exchange Board of India SEBI. Futures and options are standardized forward contracts that have an expiry date and are traded on regulated exchanges like MCX. While trading on a commodity derivative exchange, the exchange acts as the counterparty for both buyers and sellers. The exchange is a buyer to every seller and a seller to every buyer, which is known as novation. What are the objectives of exchange-traded commodity derivatives? Risk management, price discovery, transactional efficiency, liquidity, easy to enter and exit, trade guarantee, no counterparty risk. What then is a futures contract? Futures contract is an agreement to buy or sell the underlying asset at a predetermined price at the expiry of the futures contract. These contracts are standardized contracts traded on a derivative exchange. When entering a futures contract, buyers and sellers have to pay margin money, which can be as low as 5% of the contract value of the commodity. The money is blocked in your account and the amount is marked to market at the end of each day. Marked to market means the value of the contract at the closing price of the futures contract of that day. It is an arrangement where the profit and losses of a futures contract are settled each day. Hedging is a tool to manage price risk. For example, consider the situation of a jeweler who uses gold as raw material. The biggest risk for this jeweler is that the price of gold might rise in the future. To protect against this risk, the jeweler enters into buying gold futures contract to lock in the price. The price agreed upon to buy gold is called futures price. By buying a futures contract, the jeweler has gone into a long hedge. This is how he goes about managing his risk. On 1st January, the jeweler enters into contract for delivery of finished designer jewellery in April. The selling price 
of finished product and gold content used is fixed. The raw material, gold, will be required for actual use in mid-March. What the jeweler perceives is the risk of prices rising. If prices rise in a long hedge, the net position of the above transactions will negate price risk. The jeweler makes profit on the futures contract and a notional loss on the spot if price falls in a long hedge. The jeweler makes a notional profit on the spot but makes a loss on the futures contract. Short hedge Assume a jinnah is holding stock of 1000 bales, which is 40 lots of cotton in October. He wishes to lock in the price of his 40 lots of stock in October itself and protect himself against the possibility of falling prices. The spot price of cotton in October is Rs 18,500 a bale and the price of MCX December contract is 18,700 a bale. The Guinea sells 40 lots of MCX December contracts in October at Rs 18,700 for a delivery in December. The prices fall in December. The Guinea sells his stock in the physical market for Rs 18,000 a bale and takes an opposite position in the futures market by buying 40 lots of MCX December contract at Rs 18,100 a bale. Result Thus, the Jinnah protects himself from falling prices in the spot market, loss of 500, by making a profit of Rs 600 in the futures contract. Hedging is not about making a profit or a loss, it is about mitigating price risk. Options are unique financial derivative instruments in which option buyers only buy premiums and get right to buy or sell without any obligation. All commodity options are European-styled options on futures. That means option buyers can exercise their right at the expiry and on exercise the positions get devolved into underlying futures. In return, to the buyer or seller of the options contract and are protected against abrupt market movements. However, premiums are paid upfront and are not returned unlike margins in futures contracts that are adjusted daily. So the natural question is, why are options so popular today? Options are popular since they cost only a fraction of the cost of the underlying. As the illustration shows, the option premium is only a smaller piece of the bigger pie. To learn more about options, view the video on basic options.